Today I'm going to show you one of the coolest browsers that I've been able to use and that's called Neo from Norton. Now this claims to be the first safe AI native browser, comes with built in ad block as well as a bunch of AI features. Now while there is a bunch of AI and I'll go over all of that in this video, what I really like about this browser and the reason I'm even showing it to you is because it doesn't overwhelm you with AI. It works just like a normal browser, but it has all of these kind of small additional features that make the browsing experience that much better. And for that reason, I've actually been using it for the past few weeks, as you'll see here. Now I'm actually directly inside of the browser right now. You can see that it looks pretty similar to something like Chrome. And in fact, it actually integrates with things like Chrome or Firefox, depending on what you prefer to use. So right now I'm actually signed in with all of my Google Chrome accounts, but I have access to all of these additional features like the ability to just chat with an agent, summarize websites. I have all of the smart kind of tab detection going on right here. I can have different integrations. For example, I'm integrated with Discord. And then if I go right here, I can see all of my tabs. I can look at my bookmarks, all of that kind of stuff. And it just works like a normal browser, but with the addition of all of these interesting AI features, which I'll show you in one second. Now, if you do want to use Neo, then you do need to join the waitlist. It should be released anytime soon. However, big shout out to Neo and Norton for sponsoring this video and giving me access to it early. That said, let's have a look at some of the features and why you might want to check it out. So once you download Neo and you get it installed on your system, it's going to ask you if you want to import information from Chrome or from Firefox. In my case, Chrome is what I was using before. So I just imported all of my Chrome information, signed into my Chrome tabs, you even have the ability to install extensions. For example, I use a password manager. So I just installed that directly inside of here. And then it's going to bring you to kind of this magic bar. Now this bar is something where you can just do something like, you know, type in Google Drive, for example, and it will just bring you directly to that page. Or if you go back, you can ask it to do something for you or to find information. So I can say, you know, find the best accounting software for me. And then what we'll do is go here, kind of put me in this agent mode, start using the browser, searching through different results, and then giving me the answer. And you can see here I have zero QuickBooks, etc. So you don't need to now like go between chat GPT and then have another window open and go between all of these pieces of software. You have direct access to the agent right inside of here, and it will automatically detect if you're searching for a website or if you're trying to do something like this, where you're asking it a question. And then the interesting thing is you can just directly press on these tabs and opens in the exact same window. Now, a few other notable features here, if there's any hyperlinks, so for example, something like this, you'll see the little Neo icon appears. You can click on it and you have the ability to peek into what this tab looks like before you actually go into it. So you can kind of quickly search something without clogging up all of your tabs. You can make that full screen or you can exit out. Or alternatively, you can press here where this is the summary and you can get a summary in the right hand side. This is kind of the chat window that you can enable of what this new page would look like. Now, there's a bunch of other interesting features that I'll go over, but it is worth noting that this does not upload your prompts or your search history to Neo. So this is safe, it is secure, and it does have the Norton security built into the browser as well as an ad block. So if you go on a site with a bunch of ads, for example, it will just automatically remove them and you won't see them. So with that said, and kind of a quick demo out of the way, let me get into a quick tutorial on how you can use this and some of the interesting features, and then we'll go from there. All right, so whenever you open this up, you'll see that when you start opening up different tabs here, it will automatically sort them by category for you so that you can you know, find them more easily. Because a lot of times when you're working in Chrome or you're working in any browser, you're gonna have like hundreds of tabs open and it's very difficult to actually find those tabs. So as well as having that ability to automatically sort them by what it is that you're doing, you also can search for tabs. For example, if we open up kind of the sidebar right here, so it's this icon, I know it's a little bit difficult to see in the top corner, then this will open up the tab view from from here, you can press on search and you can just search for any tab that you have. So you can look for something that's like recently closed. You can view kind of like the thumbnails for all of the tabs, or you can go to the active tabs, see them much more clearly or search for them, right? So I can search for Norton and you can see that pops up and then I can go to that. Now, for some reason you don't like that, you can simply turn off the smart tab grouping. And then if you go back here, it just gives you your normal tabs like a normal browser. I don't know why you would turn that off, but you do have the ability to do so. Few other features in terms of kind of the navigation. If you want, you can expand this tab right here. It's going to show you all of the stuff that you've been looking at recently in terms of your conversations with the agent. You can look at your history of all of the stuff that you've searched and you can view your gallery. Okay. And that's if you've uploaded any images, files, etc. You've downloaded anything from here. 
Now they also have, of course, the bookmarks. They have notifications as well. This one's interesting. So it can actually automatically send you reminders based on what's in your calendar and what you've been looking up. And that's kind of the navigational component, right? And then of course you have the arrow to go back and forward, the refresh bar, like you would have in any other browser. So I just opened a new magic page here. And what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to go to YouTube and I'm going to say like YouTube, Bitcoin, video or something. And what I'm going to do now is just open up the agent and show you why I think this browser is interesting. So again, I like the fact that it doesn't overwhelm you with AI and that you can just use it like a normal browser. For example, you can just go in the search bar here, right? And you can just use it like you would normally use a browser. But I also have the ability to ask it a question. So I can say, you know, what is the best video on this page? For example, page for Bitcoin right? And then it can go, it can directly get the context from the tab that you're in as well as from any other tab and tell you which video you should press on. So for example, it's telling us this one. So I'm going to say, give me the URL for this one, right? And then it should just give me the tab that I can directly open so I can click on it like this. Now, like one feature that I thought was super cool is that if you open up the agent and you're on something like a YouTube video, it can actually summarize the YouTube video for you or directly answer questions about certain timestamps. So for example, I'm going to say, skim the video and give me the high level overview. And then it's able to know what video I'm currently on, use that as context and well, give me the answer. Now, if we wanted to be more specific, I can do something like what is talked about at, you know, one hour, 10 minutes, 10 seconds or something. And then from here, you can see it gives us the answer on exactly what's talked about at that timestamp. So I think as a learning resource, this is super cool. And again, it just avoids you having to go to another page to look something up because you have a super fast agent directly available here. So a few other features like sharing, copying, whatever, that's not that useful. You can use the speak modes. So you can use like kind of voice to text if you want to do that. And then you can upload files with additional context into the agent, just like you would in something like ChatGPT. Now, just as another example to show you kind of what's possible here, let's say you find this great YouTube channel from this sexy guy right here called Career with Tim, which is brand new that you can check out from the link in the description. And you go here and you want to ask it a question like, what is the most, you know, viewed video? Or what do you recommend? And again, you know, avoid all my typing mistakes there, but you get the idea. Okay, so it says here the most viewed video is this one. And then it says, otherwise, if you're looking for something more practical, you know, this video looks good blah, blah, blah. So it directly has the context, which I think is quite useful. Now there's a lot of other features and things that you can do with this, but generally that is the most useful. I will mention that it does also have a writing assistant. So for example, if you open up Gmail and you want to reply to an email, so let me try to do this without leaking any information. Okay. So here's an email that hopefully doesn't leak anything, but I'm a part of the GitHub stars uh, organization. So I got some email here and let's say I wanted to reply to this for some reason. Well, what I can do is sure I can use the AI built into Chrome here, but I also can use the AI from Neo. So if you hover here for a second, it will show you this little wand. You can press on it, then say, write me a reply saying I am grateful and will attend the meeting. Okay. And then it's going to look at the context here and then it will give me the response. Obviously this is a simple one. I can say, you know, make it longer and better. Okay. Let's see what it gives us here. And then boom, you get the response. And then what I can do is just confirm it'll put it directly inside of the box and then we can go ahead and fire off that email. So pretty useful. And the more that you use this, it does actually remember and start to learn how you browse the tabs you go to things that you're interested in. And you'll actually see that you get this feed. So if you open up a new magic page that tells you like interesting information, so you can go through here, you can see all of the news that it thinks is going to be relevant to you. You can see, you know, betting, finance, gaming, news, sports, whatever, all of the categories that it thinks you might like. And again, it will kind of learn. So it will give you better, more contextually relevant and replies the more that you use this browser. Overall, I think this is super interesting. Again, the features are great. They're additional. They don't replace the entire browser experience. I like the fact that it has the built-in ad block. Currently, it's free. Not sure if it's going to be like that forever, but I think it's definitely worth checking out. And it's something that is just an enhancement to the old kind of browsing experience where now I just have this really efficient, fast AI built in. I can use it. It speeds up my productivity and just makes using the web significantly easier. Anyways, guys, that's all I had for you in this video. Let me know what you think of this browser and kind of the future of browsing in the comments down below, and I will see you in another one.